Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks. Hey, hey. So, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the, uh, right, doing the arm wrestling live stream yesterday. Some guys that I practice with from the a town over. Uh, normally, we do it at their house, and they decided since I've been over to their place multiple times in the last nine months that they would come over here and uh, we try to get some local people to show up but mm. but unfortunately no one came that was local what come here come here Bonnie come on Bonnie got a lot of loving yesterday mm. what get, get up here come here come on get up here come on come on come on um, so on to the whiskey. <laughs> this is from Balconis. It is called Texas Bach. It is a collaboration with Shinerbach Brewing. It is a straight malt whiskey. So basically what they did was take the mash bill. I believe they took the mash bill from Shinerbach, from the original one, and then distilled it. And now we have the product here in front of us. So I'm going to read off the back real quick. Um, while the history of Texas is just being written, the legacy of Texas beer has deep roots. For our Texas box straight malt whiskey, we partnered up with the most iconic Texas brewery. Eh, probably. I don't know. I'd say Lone Star would probably be the most iconic. Um, made from the exact Shinerbach mash bill, like I said. And for a minute, with their proprietary lager yeast strain, we bring you a straight malt whiskey that di uh, that tips its hat to the brewers that paved the way for beer and whiskey in this great Lone Star State. So, uh, it says it's distilled and bottled, aged at least 24 months and up. So it's a two-year-old whiskey. Um, I don't know what the exact mash bill for the Shiner beer is, but I would imagine there's like hops and barley and uh, different things in it. Uh, probably not probably not any corn. I don't I don't foresee any corn being in it. Uh, so actually uh, a friend of mine gave me this, Johnny. He uh, I'll I'll, ex <laughs> I'll I'll give you his opinion uh, after after I warm it up a little bit. It's kind of cold in the house. It's hot outside, it's cold inside. So, the first time I tasted this one, I thought it was extremely weird. It it has a fragrance almost like a scotch. Of course it is, it's a malt whiskey, but it's not a single malt. And it's not, I wouldn't, I don't believe it's 100% barley. I mean, I, without looking up the mash bill. Uh, what? You were just asleep on the couch. You and Toothless were napping right next to each other, telling everybody yeah. you and the cat were hanging out. I saw it with my own two eyes. So I thought it was weird, personally. It is, it's unlike any whiskey I've ever had. It's, it has a really nice nose to it. Um, but I thought the, 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 the palette was really weird. What is wrong with you? Come here. Come here. Join the conversation. So it has this almost, I think it's cranberries, maybe. It's a it's a dark fruit, but it also has this weird aroma after you taste it. it has this weird 
Sharpie-esque feel to it. It's definitely got some dark fruits in there. What's wrong with you? Come here. Come here. It's got sharp fruit, or sharp fruits. Sharp fruit. It's a sharp fruit. Uh, the, the nose on it is actually, it's like dark fruit and honey. Maybe a little bit of cinnamon. But the, the palate is just really weird. So there's a, like the flavors kind of start out good, but then there's this weird note. And I, I call it weird because I don't, I don't necessarily think it tastes bad, but it's something that I've never tasted on a whiskey. I'm not gonna say it tastes good either. It's just, it's very different. Um, probably the oddest tasting whiskey I've ever had. One of them, minus some peated scotches. It's hard to describe. It's just be mindful if you ever see this one out on the shelf and you go to pick it up. It's it's going to be different. <laughs> uh, it's it's not something that I would say tastes great and that I want to go back to it a lot. Um, but it's definitely one that I would share with a lot of people because. I, I like the collaboration aspect of it and I know it's not Balconis I don't I know it's not the distillery's fault that the whiskey came out tasting like this having this weird little nuance to it but not all good ideas turn out to be <laughs> turn out to be a, a, a hit so I think the collaboration's cool. I think it's a good thought. Uh, it's a good selling point, but if you're going in it expecting to taste something that is reminiscent of Shinerbach, that's not, you're not gonna get it. Not gonna get it. I used to drink Shinerbach exclusively for several years and it's not there. The nose, but like I said, it smells delicious. I mean, you, you, if you took the, the, the aromas and made it into a beard oil, man, that'd be, that, would, that would be delicious. That would be a great smelling beard oil. It almost has a a chemical chemical taste to it uh, and not like a cleaning supply but it, it just tastes weird <laughs> it's a weird tasting whiskey and that's I, I don't have any negative thoughts about it I don't think it tastes bad but it's at the same time I don't think it's I wouldn't buy it again. Uh, maybe if they come out with a different batch or did something else. I really don't know how you would go about making this better. Uh, it's just, and then the aftertaste, it just kind of, yeah, yeah. Not a fan, not a fan. But like I said, this is just my opinion. I uh, just want to give people, people usually uh, agree with what I say as far as thoughts on whiskeys go, then if you're on board with me most of the time, probably be, you might want to just go ahead and pass it up unless you like novelty stuff. I would consider this a novelty item. Um, 
And normally I, I like 90% of the Balconis products. Um, this one, I just, uh, I think this one's a swing and a miss, but hey, it is what it is. I mean, I'm happy that there's distilleries out there who are trying new things and trying to push the boundaries. So thank you, Balconis, but I would just, I would, I, I, hey, one and done. <laughs> I don't know if I would go back to this one again, but it's just my opinion, folks. No harm, no foul. Please don't judge me, or actually, I really don't care if you judge me or not. But anyway, that's all I got. Uh, don't forget, check the description below for links to help out with the bills around the house. Thanks to all my new patrons. Uh, here pretty soon, I got a, a giveaway that I'm going to do for them and them alone. So if you want to get in on giveaways that I'm going to hopefully, once work gets rolling again, I, I really feel like it's going to start coming back around. At the hottest time of the year so hopefully i don't die of a heat stroke out in the texas heat uh, but yeah check out the bearded idiots thanks everybody thanks for watching thanks to all my patrons for sticking around thanks to all the former patrons who had to quietly leave uh, appreciate everything from everybody so cheers like always drink some whiskey share it with your friends and family be safe don't drink and drive take care we'll see you We'll see you next time.